Hello and welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Standard Open in Richmond, brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I'm Nick Miller alongside our Open champion, Ted Felicetti. Congratulations. Hey, thanks. I got a trophy for you. Oh, thank you. Something to drink out of on the way home. I wouldn't oh. recommend that. All right. But congratulations nonetheless. Okay. Now, you're the new leader in the Season 3 points race, and a lot of that's because of your performance at the Invitational a couple yeah. weekends ago. Mm. You were one of the few 8-0s. You had a strong day two, but it kind of fell apart there at the end. Well, the beginning, beginning, 03, was yeah. upsetting, but uh, came back, lost to Jadine in the second to last round, so she top eighted, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was all good. Top 16's fine. Didn't let it deter you. You played band company there, yep. played band company here, yep. turned it into basically about as good as you can do, taking down the trophy. Talk about your tournament. Uh, it was a long one, it involved many emeralds. Many, many, many emeralds. Uh, I got a draw in the first round against the Black Green Delirium deck, so I knew that my tournament was just going to be all draw bracket, which meant Emrakul every round or Bant Company Mirror every round. And I played against Emrakul every round except for the Green Blue Crush deck. I played him uh, previously uh, today, I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it was just really long and full of flying 13 13 spaghetti creatures. So, made it through. Reflector maged a lot of them. The Declaration of Stone, the rest, and here I am. All right. Well, Bank Company decks in general were 43 of the 94 decks on day two. Uh, I think 30 of them were just actual Bank Company. Yeah. You were the only one to make the top eight, though. Yeah. What was the difference between uh, your build and everyone else's? I, I really don't know. I, uh, I don't really look too much at other people's lists when I, I'm working on my deck. I work on the Bank Company list a lot with my friend Matt. Um, Tumovich, who did really well with it in the last couple months. Former Open champion. Yep. Um, I don't know. It just, uh, I decided not to play a lot of Dromoka's commands this weekend and played some Mojitai's command in the main instead, and that was really a big difference because there's nothing, you can't fight a Emrakul with the Dromoka's command, so I don't know. Otherwise, just know the matchups you're playing against was really the most important thing and know how to interact and play against your opponents correctly. That's all I really got. That plus Tamio, you kind of you sandbag Tamio there in the finals. There, just kind of waiting, waiting, waiting for your spot. Yeah. And he, then it opened up. Talk the, about the last the, turn. Well, he had the Ulamog. Uh, he kept casting it, and I knew that the Tamio was ultimately the way I was going to win the game. He was going to think he's safe. He'd lose two blockers and die. So I don't want to expose it to the um, the Ulamog's exile ability. And he kept loop and crush, which was fine because I just keep reapplying all my creatures. Uh, I wanted him to get to a spot where I had a flash card. Uh, I thought I had it with the counter spell. He had the dispel. So when I drew the company, I knew it was like, I'll just make that play again. Sure. Assume he doesn't have a second to spell. Didn't. He had the double send to sleep. Uh, it was kind of like exposed him. I knew exactly what his hand was at that point. So I just went for it there and it worked. All right. Well, you're in the lead for season three. Did you know coming in this weekend this was something you were going to pursue, or is it now locked in that you're kind of hunting uh, for the Players' Championship slot here? I talked about uh, if I did well at this tournament that I would continue to play more Opens and uh, try and actually actively pursue getting the Players' Championship. Where I was at, I didn't think uh, I wasn't going to invest too much effort into it, but now that I'm pretty high up there, I'm, I'm going to make a run with it and see what happens. All right, we'll be seeing you around. Now, of course, this was the last open, you know, with Collected Company in it. Yeah. What are you going to do going forward? I'm going to get, uh, get an oil change and uh, play with my race car, Nag aggro deck, with all the cool race cars they got printed in the new set. All right, vroom, vroom. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. I'm going to send it back to Matthias and Ryan one last time here in Richmond.